Master, since the Dalai Lama asked the little boy to suck his tongue, I have been learning more and more about Tibet. Now, having gone to a number of hippie festivals in my time, always seen the free Tibet. You know, it's been a, a big, a big factor of activism as far as I'm aware. And what I've heard in the last couple of weeks has completely blown my mind, to be honest. Because when you actually look at what went on in Tibet prior to 1950, which is when the Chinese went in, you had a very, very feudal system, probably and hopefully one of the last in the world. 95% of the people in Tibet were slaves. They were in chains. They were, there are pictures of women signing their babies over to their slave masters. There's imagery of these children in great big monasteries where they're taught how to be slaves. And then the Chinese went in and essentially ousted all of the slave masters, which were the monks, and stopped the education being purely about slavery and um, integrated Tibet into China, which the West have taken incredibly badly. And in fact, the CIA attempted to stage coups. They attempted to arm the, the population so that they would rise up against the Chinese occupiers. But funnily enough, people don't really enjoy being slave, enslaved and having their limbs amputated and all the other really nasty stuff that used to go on in Tibet. Now, this has blown my mind because, you know, I've always heard something very different, that the Tibetans are occupied, that they hate it, that they're having a horrible time, that the Chinese are these evil rulers, and if anything, it's the opposite to what is clearly really going on. So I had a little look. Now, I always like to look at the birth rates, the death rate, the mortality rate, because that's a really clear statistic as to what's really happening, whether people have Little is known about Tibet's population before 1950 because of this lack of data, claims of decline or an increase in the Tibetan population remain heavily influenced by political considerations. According to two studies based on local data, demographic characteristics of Tibetan villages before the 1950s would have favoured a small population increase. Prior to 1950s, around 4 out of 10 Tibetan children would die before each reaching age 5 corresponding to a life expectancy of birth of 32 years, that's now 71. Um, fertility oscillated between 4 out of 4.5 and 5 children, so there's no problem with fertility, this was about slavery. 